Hey everyone, D7 from D13 Airsoft, and I want to do a, another video that's probably not relevant to Airsoft because if you're wearing this stuff, it's probably too cold for an Airsoft gun anyway. But I think for everyone else uh, who's interested in hiking, shooting, you know, just trying to get a good piece of kit um, for a very extreme environment, extreme cold weather, um, what you're looking at is probably the best setup um, that you could get. Um, this is level 5 Gorkas. I forgot which company makes it, but quite a few do make them out of Russia. Obviously, um, very topical right now, so good luck getting these in stock. But if you can find them, um, jumping straight to the point, get them while you can. Um, this is arguably the best cold weather, extreme cold weather clothing that I've ever used. Uh, for those who don't know, I spent about three years up in Alaska, and during my free time, I would spend a lot of time hiking around, going to the shooting range, and trying to see what cold weather equipment worked and what didn't. And I would say this is probably the best uh, for various reasons, but I'll get to that afterwards. First, let's talk about what exactly these are and what makes them so good. So going first, these are the pants for the Gorka Level 5s. Um, going to the bottom... They have these little internal gaiters that attach to the, uh, the middle part of your foot that you then put into the shoe. And then this outer layer of canvas style material will go over the boot, uh, at least the top part of the lacing, and allow it to not get a lot of snow up into your boot. Uh, a dedicated gaiter would probably be better, uh, but it's still pretty darn good and it's awesome. It comes with the pants. Um, the actual material, so this is a brownish canvas, a slightly not as stiff, but still canvas light versus the darker color, which is definitely more canvas. Um, if you were to get this in different camos, I'm pretty sure it's the tan portion that would be changing. The darker colors would probably stay a flatter single color of some sort. Uh, so take that into account. Um, I would also say be very careful which level fives you get online. If it's a full different camo change, so I have a different one off camera that is uh, like snow camo pattern, it's a completely different material that's more fleece-like um, on the outside, and I don't like that. Um, something like this is much better at a better at you know dealing with cold, a lot of wind. Um, it's able to break off a lot of that better. All the pockets um, that you will find on here, any for the most part. Lacks any Velcro and instead uses Canadian style uh, plastic buttons um, that are very easy to manipulate with large thick gloves on. Pocket space is pretty okay in here. I will say it does get a little crowded uh, when you have a thick glove trying to put something in and out, but it's serviceable. Um, something to also note is I've owned both of these for about two, going close to two and a half years now with pretty hefty use uh, during the winter months in Alaska. Um, I would say almost, uh, probably multiple times a week I was probably using these uh, for several hours. So definitely worth it. I would say throughout the times I've washed it, you can see some fading here in the color. This is because for most of the time I was out there, I was using a tactical belt that had a thigh strap. So an elastic strap would go under my right leg and clip on. So you can see if some of that rubbing was tearing it apart. But it's still intact and you can also see the crotch area is still intact, which is a common part that gets uh, the seams busted um, for a lot of pants. You also see the same thing, a lot more fading on my right knee or my left when I'm crouch shooting. That is the knee I usually take to the ground. Um, but again, this material is quite durable, very canvas-like, and it's still, despite the fading, um, hanging on there. Um, you have these uh, belt loops on each side. You have the smaller one here. I'm not really sure what that's for. I guess if you want to put a carabiner there, you can. Um, you have two different buttons for extra... Uh, I guess just securing around your waist. You do have a zipper here. Zipper's been quite good. Um, usually zippers can fail on you. Uh, there's a reason a lot of military fatigue still use buttons in the crotch area, but on here, it seems to work fine. Um, on the back, you have one of the rare zippers on that set that's, or sorry, rare pockets that is zipper um, closed, not button closed, but you do have that. You have it on both sides. Um, it does taper a little higher up back here on your back. You can see the belt loop goes a little bit lower by an inch. And then you have these two loops here that when it comes with it, I don't have them here, has a, a bag that includes uh, elastic suspenders. So if you don't want to wear a belt, uh, what comes with these are suspenders if, if you want to wear it that way. 
Um, but the real claim to fame for these and why these are so good in cold weather is this fleece liner inside. This is what makes them Gorka, uh, sorry, Gorka level fives, right? So this fleece liner inside and then the outer material. And look how thin that is. It almost looks like just a normal pair of pants, you know? Um, when we get the fitting uh, later on, well, I'll get it now. For both this and this, I would say for at least me, uh, they tend to be just a tiny bit smaller, just not as flexible as I would like them. So maybe work a way up. Um, you got to take into account, you know, you're still wearing some layers with this and that type of cold weather. Um, so try to get just a little bit larger than you're used to. And you got suspenders or just wear a belt to tighten around your waist in case it gets loose there. Also, I've got to mention each side also has this Velcro, one of the few Velcro pockets on this whole set um, for a small, a long cylindrical object. Um, I've sometimes put handgun magazines in them, multi-tools. Uh, I'm not sure what Russia was thinking when they put those there. I guess maybe flares, question mark. Sometimes they integrate that in a lot of their tactical gear. So maybe they integrate in their pants too. Um, but it's there, you know, has a use for it. Uh, going to the top. So same deal with the color coding. Um, the Velcro's lasted pretty well. You can see it's starting to get some seams uh, moving right here. But again, after the years of use of this, I'm pretty happy with it. You got zippers here with no fleece inside. So if you have any electronic devices, don't expect them to be safe from the cold inside here. Put them in your inner pockets or somewhere else close to your body. Um, outside of that, you don't see much fading on the front of the uniform, which is nice. Um, you got pockets here, which are fleece lined on the on the inner part facing away, not the inner part closer to your body. It has a very ingenious design as well. I think the cargo pockets had something similar as well on the pants. Uh, but it has this fold, right? So you it folds over on itself and then back in, and then you use the Canadian style buttons to button it up. It just it's a good way to help keep a lot of snow from getting in there. Uh, you do have some elastic. It's not adjustable, but you do have some on the edges to kind of make it tight around here, and you also have it tight around your waist. Uh, I would say not. I wish they didn't have it right here. It gets a little tight around the stomach, which I didn't care for, especially when I was at the shooting range and I wear body armor underneath this. Uh, so it got a little tight right here, which I didn't care for. Um, going on top of the hood, you got elastics uh, on each side to bring it down. And you have this little duck bill on the top of the hood. Going to be honest, I only use the hood and. You know, not the shooting range. Um, if you're wearing headgear or a fleece cap, um, you still kind of want your ears exposed and you hear ear protection on. It, it just wasn't worth it. Um, I, the only thing that was good for that hood for me was if I was ever going to sleep with it or as a windbreaker for the back of my neck. Um, but, I mean, it's there. And it's a decent enough size. Um, going inside, once again, you see buttons all the way down. And then it has a strap, uh, this flap on the inside. So once you button it, you have this behind it with more fleece. So it helps with any heat escaping because you're not using a zipper, you're using buttons. Though you do still have some gaps in there. I'll get to that in a second. Got a hook up here for hanging. In each side you got pockets. And then down here on the right side you have a mesh pocket for just any inner compartments. And it does have this extra segment right here. And it's a real tiny one right here. No idea what that's for. That's not going to hold anything. So not sure what that's about, but it's there. And then flipping around. Just same deal. I mean, there's nothing really on the back of it. Um, now, with all this said, um, some flaws. So I did mention the sizing is a little small. Um, work on conversion sizes from US, European, and Russian sizing. Um, get something a little bit larger because even though this is very good in cold weather, you are wearing some layers still. So take that into account. Other issue is what I mentioned was the waist uh, elastic here. I, I would have liked it if they didn't have that. And then three, the buttons on the blouse are quite nice, but if you're ever in a very windy environment, if that wind's coming from your right side, it could in theory kind of scoop in there and kind of get you cold pretty bad. Um, not in the world, um, but it's you know something to take into account um, if they were to ever improve the design. With all these flaws, um, I would still say this is the best um, deal, best, best bang for your buck uh, for a couple of reasons. One, price. Uh, if you were to get a seven-layer U.S. Army Equic system, or you were to get the nine-layer system that the Russian military uses, which is ironic because this is made in Russia, um, you're probably going to pay an arm and a leg in comparison to this. I think I got this. <sighs> Should have looked it up prior. I think I got it for $150 plus international shipping and handling. Um, which, quite frankly, was absolutely worth it. Now, a couple other things to mention is the coldest I've ever been in this 
outfit was negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, obviously, hands, face, footwear is a completely different story uh, for a different video. But for the blouse and pants, I had for the pants just underwear and U.S. Army issued silks. And on top, I just had a just kind of thin long sleeve t-shirt. And that actually worked in negative 30 for several hours. Other parts of my cold weather gear did fail that day, uh, but these did not. As for negative 20, negative 10, I did this all the time um, out there for hours, hours on end, and this stuff was awesome. Um, what's also great is the thickness, or lack thereof. If you have a nine layer system, uh, or a seven layer system, in the US Army's uh, Equix system, yeah, the Equix work, um, but they're a little more costly, because you gotta buy seven layers for it. And you also walk around like a marshmallow man with how puffy that equipment is, plus you're adding on wearing tactical gear, yeah, it gets a pain. This stuff's incredibly thin. Um, I did not deal with much wind in that part of Alaska. Uh, if you're in a very windy, open environment, maybe other systems would be better that have that you know fluffiness to it with that air trapped in there to mitigate that. Also, then it gets soaking wet with this stuff. I'm not sure what that would detail, but then again, what cold weather gear would handle getting completely soaked anyway? Maybe wool. That's about it. Um, so overall, I would highly recommend this, even with the current politics going on in the world right now. If you can get it out of Russia... Grab them right you can. Um, I know there's probably a lot of Russians in trenches right now that wish they had this. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and uh, D7 out.